have been full time for 20 years now. Wow. Congratulations. Big milestone. What a a ride that's been. For sure. Right. We talk about the the things that we see over a couple of decades and things that uh, so you've seen a whole lot. Um, I, I certainly have. Yeah. And I'm sure that's a whole other episode of the things that Tammy has seen. Um, but yeah, so today let's talk about how you, how you really got to be where you are, which I think you give a lot of that to this idea of being a, a really a trusted advisor, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, it's something that I think was instilled by my mom who Mm -hmm. I work with. Um, and thinking back to, uh, how she started in the business 35 years ago, working with people, uh, helping them in their their first home and then um, seeing them through an entire lifetime and multiple generations of uh, of purchases, both buying and selling. And uh, that was the, the benchmark standard to become somebody's lifelong real estate professional and um, and really the trusted advisor for anything that they need. And and you really did achieve that. I think um I think we all need to have something modeled for us. And I think um learning that through the relationship you have, the business side, right, with your mom has been has been terrific. It's not totally instinctive though, right? To be a connector. No, no, I don't think so. I think um it it requires a kind of mindset that is uh curious and looking for opportunities to uh, to connect people with things that are that are resources, things that they need. Um, it, there's an intuitiveness of trying to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, and it's not about uh, bedrooms and baths and square footage. It's about um, satisfying somebody's lifestyle and uh, and really trying to to get into uh, what motivates them and and what's gonna what's gonna really make them happy, which ultimately keeps them happy and makes them use you again and right. makes them refer people to you. Right. So so when do you think in this I'll call it the real estate sales life cycle, right from the first time home buyer and on, where do you think it really does change into lifestyle? Oh, you get out of that whole, I need this to, I want this, right? Like we yeah. teach this, the shit. Yeah, yeah, we do. And, and, and I don't think that there's a specific uh, measurable moment, right? Uh, sometimes it has to do with financial means. Sometimes it has to do with uh, maturity. Um, and, uh, and, and there's not one spot for, for everybody, um, so that, that's a little difficult for me to answer. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot again, because I, I, uh, I, I've been thinking about this very thing, watching these last two years and the changes, maybe the last five years and the changes that, um, the, the real difference in where we are today than where we were five or 10 years ago is we have information, the consumer has so much information at their fingertips, not just the MLS, everything is at their fingertips. And so how that's kind of shifted the speed to lifestyle purchase, I think is is really interesting. I would agree. And I think uh, over the last couple of years with, um, you know, with what's happened in the world, people have placed a little more priority on on lifestyle and um, seizing the moment than on um, is this the the best use of my dollars and right. uh, the the smartest investment right people are people are feeling a little more um, compelled to satisfy quality of life in the short term. So you know you're um, you've got great stories. It's probably I think one of the things that I read the most about you from the hundreds, hundreds of classes that you've taught for the Institute and their relevance. And that's, that's why when this, when this topic kind of hit my mind, I was like, I think really Tammy and I, even though it's strange because you, (laughs) you interview folks, but I really wanted to talk to you about this because I do think there's, there's now a benchmark that this profession has to be this. Um, 
to move away from the mindset that this is a transaction. And, and this is really in the luxury market, but it's throughout the market, but it's, it's an expectation in that higher price point that you are more than just a person who's going to show up at closing and sign some documents, right, Tam? Oh, absolutely. I am, I am really passionate about that. Um, the last thing on my mind is making a sale, right? I would rather have someone choose not to pursue a transaction and be uh, of the mindset that I help them make a, 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 a smart decision because it'll come back, right? right. It'll, it'll come back in the long term. And um, I, I think about, you know, some of our most significant referrals have come from folks that didn't use us themselves for whatever reason. You know, there's always, there, there's always a few folks that, uh, that can't necessarily make their first pick of, of who they work with, right. uh, but they are uh, absolute cheerleaders and send us tons of business because they know that we're going to take care of people and really um, be more concerned about helping people make the right decision than, than closing a sale. Uh, I have talked more people out of buying houses uh, than, than probably I have right. closed. And that's a, a running joke of my clients. They say, Tammy, are you ever going to let me buy a house? Um, so that's, uh, that I Boy, think that's something that I'm really proud of is that it's not about the transaction. It's about, um, really doing what's right. And you really should be proud of that, right? Because the, that's, that's not necessarily everyone's motivation. 